Hi, in this video we are going to continue the implementation of the Bauman Ford algorithm. So as we have discussed in the theoretical section, for the Dijkstra's algorithm, we calculate the actual shortest path in a greedy manner. And what's very important that we calculate it for a single vertex. For the Bauman Ford algorithm, we are going to calculate for all the vertices at the same time. And we are going to make as many iterations as the number of vertices in the given graph. And that's why we know that if we make another iteration, so n plus 1, if n is the number of vertices, and the overall shortest path decreases, we know that there's a negative cycle. So that's why the approach is different, but the result is the same that we are going to end up with the same shortest path algorithm. So we are going to have a has cycle variable, it's going to be false at the beginning, and we will have a calculate shortest path method with the self. Then we are going to have a vertex list, it's going to store all the vertices. Then we have the edge list, it's going to store all the edges. And then we have to define a starting vertex. Okay, some typo, starting vertex. So first we have to set the start vertex dot min distance is equal to zero. Okay. Then we have to make as many iterations as the number of vertices. So for i in the range zero and the length of the vertex list, so vertex list, I think that minus one, because we start with zero, and then we have to iterate through all the edges. So that's what we have been discussing, that we make n iterations where n is the size of the vertex list, so basically the number of vertices. And on every iteration, we calculate the shortest path for every single vertex, so basically we relax all the edges. So that's why it's going to have an inner loop, and we iterate through all the edges. So edge list. And if we come to the conclusion that, okay, the u is the edge dot start vertex, the v is equal to the edge dot target vertex, it's going to be the same as we have seen for Dijkstra's algorithm. We have to calculate whether there is a shortest path exists or not. So the new distance is equal to the u dot min distance plus the edge dot weight and if the new distance is smaller than the v dot min distance that we have calculated previously then we just have to update so v dot min distance is equal to the new distance and the v dot predecessor is equal to the u okay and basically that's all about the Bauman Ford algorithm. And what we have been discussing in a theoretical section, that with this for loop and the inner for loop, we have considered every possible root. So if we make another iteration, so for edge in the edge list, and we are able to find a shorter path, it means that there must be negative cycle. So if the self dot has cycle, with the given edge, it means that there's a negative cycle. So we just print out that negative cycle detected, dot, 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 okay. And we just have to set the Bauman Ford algorithm, I think. Yeah, Bauman Ford dot has cycle is equal to be true. And then we have to return. Okay. And this has cycle is just going to calculate whether there's a cycle or not. So we have the self and we get an edge. And we just have to check again that if the edge dot start vertex dot min distance plus the edge dot weight is okay, we have to use some parentheses. If this min distance plus the edge weight is 
smaller than the edge dot target vertex dot main distance it means that there is a shorter path but we have already considered all the possibilities so there must be an adjective cycle so we have to return with true and else there is no negative cycles so we just have to return false okay so basically if you can see that this is the same but here we have the u which is the edge dot start vertex here we are not going to define u and v variables we just calculate that whether is there any better solution and if we come to the conclusion that yeah it is smaller than the edge target vertex min distance so what we have calculated so far it means that there must be a negative cycle and then we are going to define a def get shortest pass to we have to define the self and the target vertex and if basically not the Bauman Ford dot has cycle so it means that if there is no negative cycles then we can print out that shortest path exists with value for example and we have to define the target vertex that mean distance so this is what we have been calculated okay and then we have to print out the concrete shortest path so we start at the target vertex and as we have discussed for the dash class algorithm we just have to iterate so while the node is not none or we could say that while not node I think some people prefer this is not none some people prefer while not node whatever what's important that we have to consider the node is equal to the node that predecessor so this is what we have been discussing for dash cross implementation as well that we have calculated the so-called shortest pass tree and if we would like to get the shortest pass for the vertex g we just have to get the minimum distance this is this 25 and we have to backtrack with the help of the predecessors was the predecessor c was the predecessor of c it is f was the predecessor of f it is e then a and the predecessor is a is equal to a null that's why we iterate until we bump into a none or a null okay and else basically we just have to print out that cycle detected so print negative cycle detected okay so i think that it's going to work fine in the next video we are going to test it thanks for watching